I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a question from my student Shruti. Let me thank all the students for taking keen interest in my videos and posting excellent questions. Now these two questions are very much related. They are based on counting principles. Question number one. A combination lock has 60 different positions. To open the lock, you need to move to three numbers. First clockwise, then counterclockwise, and again clockwise. If consecutive numbers in the combination cannot be same, how many different combinations are there? Question number two. There are 250 lockers in a private swimming pool. To open the lock, you need to move to three numbers, first clockwise, then counterclockwise, and again clockwise. If consecutive numbers in the combination cannot be same, what is the smallest number of positions that must be in the lock to give each a unique combination? So as you can see, both are very much related questions. Let's try to solve them. The term consecutive numbers means the numbers which come one after the other. For example, 10 and 11 are consecutive numbers. Right. So it says if consecutive numbers in the combination law cannot be same, that means in this case, first, second, third, we are talking about three positions. Right. We are talking about three positions where the consecutive means first and second, they cannot be same second and third they cannot be same now since we have 60 different positions in the first you could have any of those 60 now once you choose one of them you cannot choose the same for the next right so we could choose 59 of them now once you choose one number here then out of 60 we are left with another 59 so third combination could also have 59 options. Now from the fundamental principle of counting, in this case, total number of combinations will be 60 times 59 times 59. Let's use the calculator to find the answer. 60 times 59 times 59 gives us 20 eight eight six zero so we get this as equals to two zero eight eight six zero so those are the total number of combinations possible so i hope the concept is absolutely clear now let's look into the next question it is actually exactly same however there's one difference now in this case we are not given these combinations right so we have to find how many combinations are there. But we know that the answer should be 250. So let's read it once again. There are 250 lockers in a private swimming pool. To open the lock, you need to move to three numbers, first clockwise, then counterclockwise, and again clockwise. If consecutive numbers in the combination cannot be same, what is the smallest number of positions? that must be in the log to give each a unique combination. So let us say number of positions are n. In that case, we have all n combinations here. Next, it consecutive cannot be same, so it will be n minus one, and third position will also be n minus one. Now, product of these, that means n times n minus one times n minus one, should be equal to 250 since that is the number of locks we have and we need unique combinations correct so that is what it is now one way to do it is trial and error so i'll use trial and error in this case so when we do trial we know these two numbers are same right so so we can just try some numbers. For example, if I choose six as one of the numbers, then the other numbers could be one less and one less. So that gives me what? Six times five is 30. 30 times five 
is 150. Well, that is much smaller. Let me choose 7. 7 times 6 times 6. What is that equal to? Right? So let's calculate this. 7 times 6 times 6. 7 times 6 times 6 is 252. So that means n should be equal to 7. Right? So n equals to 7 combinations positions for each log will give us the required result. Is that clear? So that is, I think, a very suitable way of finding this answer. If you expand and solve for n, it will be a cubic equation very difficult to solve. So that is where you get caught. So I hope you understand the trick involved. So that is the tips which I want to share with you to solve such questions. I hope you appreciate it. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.